People do not get rich by chance, luck, or by inheritance most of the time. They get rich because they use specific assets that grow their income and their net worth. We can just take a look at data directly from the IRS to see how people are earning over five, six, and even seven figures per year. Or we can look at the actual net worth breakdowns of millionaires to see what assets they are using to build wealth in the first place. And look, regardless of your circumstances, there is a proven way to become extremely wealthy. And in this episode, I'm going to use data to show you the top five assets that you can use to get there. All right, asset number one, yourself or your ability to earn income. You are your single greatest asset. So many people are looking for the next big thing to invest in when they haven't even invested in themselves. Across every income level, the data is clear. Wages and salaries make up one of the largest portions of reported income, whether it's from your own company or a job from an employer. It does not matter. Learning how to trade your time for the most amount of money is the first step to getting rich. And typically, this requires three simple things. First, choose a field or trade that earns high income. Now the IRS defines high income as income above $200,000 per year. So if you want to become high income, you have to first choose a profession where there is a path to earn north of this amount. Secondly, the field you choose should have a high probability of success. Now this is important because you can choose a high income profession, but have a very low chance at actually succeeding at it. For example, NBA players make millions of dollars every year, but the average person has a 0.09% chance of being successful in that pursuit. Instead, you should choose something that is in demand, pays a lot, and there is a shortage of good people. And finally, you should invest in becoming the very best in your trade. Now, most people do not invest in their own skills beyond the minimum requirements to get into their profession which means by simply investing into continuing your education to sharpen your skills, you can elevate to the top of your trade. Now, this looks different for every profession. It may involve getting certifications, buying books or online courses, hiring consultants, or joining a mastermind and so on. Now, investing in yourself can increase your income, but as your income rises, you will see that the income sources begin to change here, particularly from investment income. You can see that investment income is the largest source of income from people who earn seven figures per year. So let's talk about the most popular investment assets. Asset number two, stocks. Bank of America surveyed millionaires with at least $3 million in assets. And the most popular assets in their portfolios were US stocks. The US stock market as a whole averages a 10% rate of return, which means your money would double every seven years under the rule of 72, which by the way, is just a simple way of measuring the power of compound interest. If you invested $500 per month for 30 years, you would have over $1 million or $2 million at $1,000 per month or $4 million at $2,000 per month and so on. As you can see here, the more you can invest, the more wealth you can create. In every one of these scenarios, you would have almost five times the amount of your investment over a 30 year period, thanks to compound interest. And the amazing part is you can do this by buying one index fund over time. Vanguard, Fidelity, and many other brokerages have low cost index funds that track the US stock market. Now the S&P 500 is the most popular benchmark for stock market performance. And some would argue that that is the very best investment option for most people. It's the same thing that makes most sense practically all of the time. And, and that is to consistently buy an S&P 500 low cost index fund now, the reason why billionaires like Warren Buffett advocate that most people should invest this way is because 85% of investors fail to outperform the S&P 500 index, which means that by simply investing into something that tracks this index, you will be doing better than 85% of investors 
according to this logic. And in addition to this, there are ways to reduce your taxes by carefully structuring how you invest in the stock market. There are tax advantage accounts like retirement accounts, health savings accounts, college savings accounts, donor advised funds, and so on, which allow you to invest in the stock market while offering you very powerful tax benefits. Now, of course, there is far more to consider when you invest in anything. So be sure to do your own research or get one of our advisors involved to help you with this at mycpacoach.com. But for now, let's keep moving here. Asset number three, real estate. So 31% of millionaires surveyed in Bank of America study were invested in real estate, which was the second most popular asset after US stocks. Now there are three primary advantages of investing in real estate. Number one, it appreciates. Real estate typically appreciates about 5% per year on average. Secondly, it generates cash flow. Most investors can make anywhere from 5 to 20% from charging rent. And number three, my favorite, it has massive tax benefits, which could save you another 20% of your investment in taxes alone. The tax law allows real estate investors to deduct a large portion of their properties every single year which is how many wealthy individuals pay little to no income tax. Now, with that being said, there are many ways to invest into real estate. There's short-term rentals like Airbnbs, long-term rentals, commercial rental property, and so on that you can buy and run like a rental business. And to be fair, this does require more time, effort, and skill than simply buying stocks and index funds. Now, there are more passive investments out there like real estate investment trusts or syndications that allow you to participate more passively, but those typically come with less control and or less tax benefits. Asset number four, business. So many billionaires and millionaires like Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, many others did not get rich from working a job, trading stocks, or buying real estate. They did it by creating a business. A business gives you an unlimited amount of earnings potential and it is rapidly creating young millionaires. When we look at the data, you will notice that taxpayers who are earning over $200,000 in income also have a higher concentration of income from their business. In addition to that, the Bank of America survey found that young millionaires between the ages of 21 and 42 had three times more wealth allocated to their own companies than millionaires above the age of 43, who instead invested more into things like stocks and real estate. And this makes sense because it can take decades to get rich off of real estate and stocks, whereas a company can take off within a couple of years. In fact, most business owners tend to allocate most of their wealth to their own companies. A Hampton study of millionaire business owners found that the largest asset in their portfolios were the stock they held in their own companies. So if you want to get rich quickly, you should strongly consider opening your own company, even if it is just a side hustle. There are plenty of businesses you can start that cost very little money and only requires your time. Asset number five, your accountant or your tax reduction strategy. So when it comes to wealth, it is about how much you keep, not necessarily how much you earn. And taxes are the single largest expense that you will pay as you earn more income and accumulate more wealth. Now, the wealthy understand this and are able to pay almost 0% of their income towards taxes because they have a plan ahead of time. Whereas many other high income individuals pay upwards to 50% of their income towards taxes, which erodes their ability to build wealth. Because of this, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have a tax plan in place to protect your wealth from taxes. Over 75% of the millionaires in the Hampton survey have an accountant that they rely on for financial and tax advice. And despite the technology and information we have today, over 75% of the millionaires from the Bank of America survey prefer to rely on human financial advice. So as you go out and earn more income, make new investments and start companies to build wealth, make sure you have a CPA on your team that can guide you with the best financial advice. And if you need one to help you reduce your taxes, just go to mycpacoach.com right now to apply to work with one of my tax CPAs today.